welcome back here with Overdrive. Now, if you had a crore of rupees to spend on a car, what would you want for your money? A limousine or a sports car? Well, Sirius thinks he's found the best of both worlds. Let's take a look. <laughs> Apparently, there's a recession going on. You're not buying enough Indicas, or so I'm told. Apparently, you're not buying enough houses either. But that's you and me. Up there, on another cloud peppered with private jets, word of the recession has yet to filter through. Money continues to be splurged on luxury goods. For instance, last year, Mercedes sold 45% more cars. And remember, Mercedes don't sell a car at under 30 lakh rupees. If you think that's obscene, well, BMW sold twice as many cars. And now, for the rich and famous, there's a new plaything, the all-new BMW 7 Series. It might not look all-new, but the new 7 Series is all-new. What BMW have done is cleaned out some of the hideous detailing on the old 7 and injected tons of grace and elegance into the car. In some angles, it actually looks beautiful. But for me, well, BMWs are not supposed to be about beauty. They are supposed to be about detailing. Details that come out and visually assault you. The new 7 doesn't have much of it. And that just doesn't rock my boat. Out here in India, have we ever seen a corporate head honcho drive himself to work? Which is why I'm here lounging in the back trying to live the life of a corporate fat cat. And damn, it's good. The seats, for instance, they're like business class seats. You can adjust them for reach, for the recline angle, the headrest angle and you can heat it or cool it. And just to prove how cool you can be with so much money, you have aircon vents here, here and here. And a huge screen in front of me which is now interfaced by second generation iDrive wherein all the regularly accessed menus are clustered around this single knob. So it's easy, intuitive to use and I don't need a PhD in rocket science to operate my own car. I can also put in my CDs, DVDs, even plug in my PlayStation over here. It truly is like a home away from home. As we said when we drove this car back in Germany, the new 7 Series will come with the choice of a turbocharged 3 litre diesel and a V8 4.4 litre petrol. Obviously India gets the long wheelbase version because well, fat cats like to stretch out. This car is the V8 petrol. <laughs> Out there on the German Autobahn, this 400 horsepower engine completely blew me away. But here in India, with our reference points and with the roads that I know so well, I'm completely overwhelmed. This engine has got so much power that at 120, when you step on it, the traction control light flickers. It's got these huge 19-inch tyres, but there's so much power that the rear tyres struggle to control all that horsepower. This is one of the fastest cars I've tested in India. 0 to 100 takes 5.98 seconds. That's an under 6 second time to 100 from a car which is actually a luxury limousine and its top speed is 250 km per hour. All that power is well and good, but you need to own a petrol pump to access all of it. This fuel needle is running faster than the speedometer. Right now, she's showing 3.8 km to the litre. And that's just frightening. Why did I want to drive the 7? Obviously, it's power, but more than that, the handling. This is a BMW after all, and handling is in the genes of every BMW. At the flick of a switch, you can move it from comfort to sport mode, and that firms up the suspension. It quickens the steering, quickens the throttle responses, makes the gear shift snappier, and with that, you can go attack, attack, attack around corners. How does 
something as big as the 7 series handles so well. Well, it's got active steer which also incorporates rear wheel steer and that gives it amazing agility and it also turns in like a swift. And the really cool thing about this car is this big fat stability control off button. Hit that and all hell breaks loose. To cut a long story short, the 7 is phenomenal to drive. It defies all laws of physics as we know it. But the downside is that the ride quality isn't all that special. Don't get me wrong, the 7 does ride very well. But when you spend a crore of rupees on a car, you expect a magic carpet ride. And sadly, the 7 doesn't cut it. You can still feel the slight undulations on the road. It still goes a bit gud 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 over road surfaces. And that's just not on in such an expensive car. What do I say? I honestly don't know what to say. Now I'd expect a car costing almost a crore of rupees to completely blow me away. But this, this just boggles the mind. One minute it's a sports car, the next it's a luxury limousine. This car is so adept at its various roles. Like for instance, right now I'm having my butt massage and cold air being blown onto my back. The seats are more comfortable than the lazy boy back at home. Now, I love this car so much, I don't want to give it back. What do I say? Except, if you have a crore of rupees, you really must go out and buy this car right now.